Hi everyone, uh, this is Igor from Team is Digital, the owner of the agency and professional developer for many years. Uh, the idea of this video is to start going social with the agency uh, and also to maybe uh, give some young programmers an intro how the professional developers uh, is done on the custom WordPress team. So the we will be going through the all the modern uh, workflow, what stack to use, how do uh, we create team, what is the best practices and everything related to the WordPress development. We will be using the uh, WordPress <coughs> Sage team as a starter team. This is an awesome we have some root stack team which use some nice uh, Laravel uh, stuff inside WordPress, which enable us to uh, have easier way to develop uh, team, and also it give you a really nice developer workflow when working uh, on the team itself. The, the main goal of uh, this is written like what we are going to learn and uh, go over to. The This video will not definitely go through all of this. It will just be a uh, first intro co course and then we will try to make some few more episodes which will like cover everything from here. So we will go through development environment, PHP basic for the persons who doesn't know anything about PHP, WordPress basic, what it is, how it handle uh, display of your posts and pages, what are the themes there, what is uh, Gutenberg. Uh, I believe most of you know all of this, but uh, this should be like intro course, so I decided to include this anyway. We will break down the classic WordPress theme. What files does it need to have? Uh, the WordPress uh, uh, environment is really rapidly changing last two, three years. So some of these maybe even become obsolete in the future, but right now these are still uh, standard. We will uh, go through why use Sage team as starter team, what is different between Sage and the regular team. We will go through briefly through the Laravel, Acorn and, and Composer and other stuff you will need to be able to develop in the Sage team. We will explain the stru structure of the team as it is slightly different than the regular WordPress team. It handles some stuff differently, and that's what make make it such great uh, uh, framework to work with. We will go through the setting of Team JSON, which is basically the base of our team. WordPress uh, included that file to handle all the colors, spacing, uh, whatnot uh, for the team. So we will go: what is Team JSON? How to use it? Uh, to our advantage, how to modify it, uh, and we will also use <coughs> Tailwind as CSS uh, framework for our team, but it's not mandatory, so you can replace it with whatever you prefer. I just like Tailwind to give me freedom to uh, style components quickly, but I can also, and we will use uh, SCSS to style some other stuff which we cannot do it with Tailwind like WordPress menus and stuff like that. Um, look at our demo design. So I have created the Figma file for the team which I plan to uh, create with you guys together. So we will go to the header, heroes, some sections, how we can handle all these what Gutenberg blocks can we use from the core blocks, what we will make as a custom uh, block, how to make such TTAs and uh, footers. Uh, everything, of course, will be mobile responsive. Uh, it will be 
uh, fast. We will have uh, an archive uh, with some listings. We will have uh, a single page, recommended articles, and a bunch of other sections. Uh, it might be possible that we will not do anything, uh, everything from this design, but but uh, I will try to do most, at least, uh, all the basic and, and uh, main sections, uh, which will give you a nice uh, intro how we will um, combine our team to uh, have fully completed custom team, which will be super fast um, with no extra uh, unneeded parts and you will see it, it will be a lot of fun during this so we will go also through when while we are making team through the custom post type rest api making hf blocks uh, with help of the hf plugin uh we will also go through the react react and, and native wordpress blocks um we will learn the gutenberg reusable block block styles and also in the end the idea is to go through the testing and deploying the team to the uh, live site and that should be everything for for this course what i planned but who know, uh, we might add or remove something uh, in the end, but this is a, a general idea to to finish in this series. So the main theme we will be using is the root sage. Um, you can have a look at it if you haven't before. It uses blade templating, so it will... Uh, allow us to minimize the uh, unnecessary PHP uh, stuff in, in our templates. It uses modern workflow with BUD and Webpack uh, to combine our uh, uh, styles and J JavaScript. Uh, we will go through all of this in the next video I'm planning, where we will set up this team. We will um, make our de development environment and um, that should be it for this video because i don't want to make it too long i just want to get some kind of feedback do <coughs> do you want to um, see all of this is it boring is it not um, do i suck at <laughs> creating videos that's the kind of feedback i want from you guys and if the feedback is uh, positive, I will definitely uh, do the recording for the next uh, episode of this series. That's it for today. Have a great day and hopefully uh, we will talk soon again. Bye.